Jamie Ray with Jamie Ray Vintage. Today's video is all about a rustic DIY wedding. We help put together this awesome reception, mostly with all DIY projects, for our good friends Alex and Megan. We're so excited for them and we want to show you all the fun Pinterest inspired projects that we did. One of our first projects is this awesome sign. We used reclaimed wood, some old backer board that we had lying around. We cut it out in the shapes that we wanted. We used fairy chalk mother paint and we went ahead and used our silhouette to cut out our stencils to make it look nice and crisp. I love the way it turned out. It's something that the bride sent me that she absolutely had to have and it looks exactly the way we designed. For our sign-in table, we've got some old screens in the back and then the bride and the groom saved a whole bunch of things from their dating and we just clipped them to chicken wire in this old window frame and they wanted to have some ideas after they got married so we went ahead and made these marriage advice and date ideas here so that way they've got lots of good advice to get their marriage started and then we have our guest sign-in book over here and this we did not make but I want to show it one of Megan's friends did it and it has their name in an old book folded it's really really cool I'll try to get the link of the person who made this and we'll put it below so that way you can order one and it says Drebbing because that's our new last name Opposite of our signing table is our gift table. We have fabric tied to some twine all ripped up in the colors for the wedding which are green and yellow and gray. And then I use the silhouette again just to transfer some letters saying gifts and I just use chalk paint on the burlap. And we have an old mailbox that we just wrote cards on. So you'll notice on this table along with the others we've got hearts. We took old books that were falling apart and we used a heart punch and cut them out to make confetti. And then they've also got pictures of their parents and their grandparents when they were married. On the TV, they're gonna have pictures of them, so it's a great tribute to their family. Here we've got their line. We made a bench out of an old door that I found on the side of the road and some of our wood from our tear down. So we'll put the link below. A lot of this wood is from 1885. And then we also have these adorable pillows I used my silhouette stencils and chalk paint to make them. We also have a link for that, so if that's a DIY you want to make, we've got that. And then behind our bench, we have the doors we use to stage our pictures, and we have our awesome coffee filter wreaths. So here we've got our coffee filter wreaths. We used Fairy Chalk Mother in Wednesday, and we dyed it. The link for that video will be up, so that way you can make one. And then to personalize it, we just put their names on here, so that way after they get married, they can stick that on their front door. So Megan has 21 nieces and nephews, Alex has a ton of cousins, and Megan is a special needs preschool teacher. So kids are really important. They wanted to have somewhere fun that the kids could color. So they've got crayons here in mason jars and some really cute personalized artwork. So this is cute, Megan and Alex, and all the kids can color it. When they're done coloring, they can take and clip them to this chicken wire frame that we made from an old door and some chicken wire. We've also got some awesome poof balls to add some color. They're kind of all over the place. We wanted to have pops of color to brighten it up. And we've also got this awesome pinwheel made just from scrapbook papers. You don't have to spend a lot of money to make your wedding awesome. You just have to have a little bit of time and a lot of creativity. So our next sign is Pinterest inspired. The first time we did it, it was a Pinterest fail. Zeb insert the photo here. It turned out pretty awful, but then we decided that we wanted to go ahead and redo it and make it look even better. Sometimes even the professionals make mistakes, and I think it looks a lot better like this than it did before. So here's our cake table. Obviously our cake is missing. We'll go ahead and get a picture of it tomorrow, but we used some old wood and we made a stand for it, and then Zeb hand wrote Alex and Megan on it. And then we've just got more of these confetti hearts and we use some old doors and shutters that we have lying around. I am a door hoarder, we've talked about that a lot, so it comes in handy when you're doing wedding. And then we went ahead and cut out, we've decided on forever, because Alex and Megan are going to be married in the Ogden Temple for time and all eternity. If you want to know more about temple marriage, we'll post a link below. Last but not least, we've got this ladder. Alex and Megan gave us these letters, but we went ahead and made the and sign. Zeb cut it out with his bandsaw, and then we took old wood and painted it. The colors that you saw in this video today are Wednesday, Industrial, 
and Snowflake, as well as Absinthe. So if you're interested in those colors, go to jamierayvintage.com and you can buy the same chalk paint that we used for all of our DIY projects. So here's our centerpieces. We have some cut burlap, some more of our confetti hearts, and then behind this book, we've got our mason jars. I'll have Zeb snap a picture tomorrow. They're gonna have lemons and lime and baby's breath. They also included cute pictures of them. I think it really personalizes the table so you can see their personality. It's really important at weddings that your personality shine through. And because Megan is a teacher, she loves books. So she included books about love and every table has a children's book. And here we have the happy couple. This is Megan and Alex. Their last name is going to be drubbing in how many hours? Oh, uh, half a day. <laughs> yeah, we'll go up half a day. At 10 o'clock in the morning. Okay, so I didn't give them the question before we got started. The question I have for you both for posterity is, what is your most favorite thing? that you love about the other? Just one thing, what makes you love them so much? Um, Alex is always willing to serve other people, like beyond his capacity sometimes, he will always choose to serve others. And I love that. that and is, he serves me all the time. That's so sweet. All right, Alex, don't cry. All right, I'll try not to cry. Um, my favorite thing about Megan has got to be, uh, she is so focused on the gospel of Jesus Christ and she just loves it and she will never give it up no matter what. That's probably my most favorite thing about her. All right, guys, there you have it. In 10 years, you'll know. Like when, you're, know. when you're disagreeing <laughs> about something, you pull up this YouTube video and remember how much you love each other. We will. All right, guys, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY.